بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا قيما لينذر بأسا شديدا من لدنه ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات أن لهم أجرا حسنا ماكثين فيه أبدا وينذر الذين قالوا اتخذ الله ولدا ما لهم به من علم ولا لآبائهم. Child to Child Charity Foundation of Esteem Learning Center uh, equipped a science uh, physics lab for the orphans and they are here today to officially commission it, which they did. Uh, it is all part of their uh, touching the life of humanity, especially the orphans. Uh, you know, and the good thing about it is that they are young and they have the uh, the interest of their fellow children in their hearts and they feel that since Allah has blessed them, they have their parents are still alive and they can afford it, they decided to do. And you know the good thing about this is that it is their money, it is the policy of the school that each and every child must contribute 5,000 every term towards our activities. And these children, you see, they have their Amir, they have their full ESCO, they decide every year what and what to do with their money. And when they learn that this uh, orphanage is in need of a physics lab, they decided to contribute to that. And Alhamdulillah, we are here today to commission it, which they did. As I always say, I'm so proud of these children. I pray that Allah will accept it from them. Allah will continue to use them for his pleasure. And Allah will make it uh, easy for them to continue to be on this path and may this project benefit humanity and may Allah accept it from, from them and from all of us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A'uz billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Abu Bakr Ilani. I'm the principal of Esteem Learning Center, Loko Goma. Child to Child Outreach Foundation is a, a foundation that was created in 2018 to reach out to the less privileged in the society. It was created with the aim of teaching our children how to give back to the less privileged in the society. We have uh, done a lot in this area. We have taught our children how to give back to IDP camps, the less privileged in those uh, in uh, uh, orphanage homes. We have had calls to build primary schools recently. We also dug a borehole in the day day community in Abuja, which we are going to inshallah commission next week, inshallah. Today, we brought our children here so that we can um, uh, open the physics laboratory where we donated some laboratory equipment. We also want the children in this home to become scientists. We know uh, Muslims have co uh, contributed a lot to the society in the area of science. We also want the children of this home to also contribute positively in science with their science laboratory. So we furnished the science laboratory and we brought our children to commission the uh, laboratory equipment we donated. We also contributed some food commodities to the out, uh, home so that they can also, in the spirit of Ramadan, that encourages us to give back to the, to the less privileged. We, our students bought food items ranging from beans among other things and they have donated to the outreach. We all know that giving in Ramadan is highly rewarding. So we encourage our children to give not only in Ramadan but every other month and also learn to give when they grow up and also teach their families to do the same. Already, some of the children are already helping at home. They are already 
encouraging their parents and their siblings to give back to the less privileged and donate to homes like this. Alhamdulillah, I just learned today that the home is going to have a secondary school, inshallah, by September. We are calling on all those who Allah has blessed one way or the other to donate to the home and help in improving some of the infrastructure in the school so that the children of the less privileged, the orphans, can also enjoy the benefit of getting good education. Alhamdulillah, we pray that Allah will bless the children who have donated today. We pray that Allah will continue to enrich them so that they can continue to donate and do more things for the less privileged in the society. We pray that all these children will grow up to become useful to their schools, useful to their families, and useful to the Ummah entirely. And we also teach their Ummah how to give back to the society like they are doing. Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah for the opportunity to be here. We want to thank the management of Al Ansar Home, who we have been working with for a very long time. May Allah bless them, may Allah continue to enrich them, and may Allah continue to provide for them. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Abakar Umar, the Amir of this Child to Child Foundation. We created this foundation to help the less privileged. We uh, make boreholes for uh, the less privileged where they need it the most. We make uh, uh, we built a school in Nasarawa. We make uh, we made uh, here we made a lab, a physics lab. We uh, we give food during Ramadan and also normal the normal time. We also uh, give support to those who are having health challenges. We do this for the sake of Allah, and we hope that Allah will accept our our uh, uh, accept this as uh, as an act of ibadah and forgive our shortcomings. Salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam alaikum warahmatullahi. I'm Salahuddin Ustaz Yunus, the consultant Al Ansar. Alhamdulillah, this project has been on since 2015, and the Muslim Ummah have been doing their best in making sure our children in the home live a better life. We appreciate that. Jazakumullah khairan. Presently, we are in need of support towards their upkeep. Per child up, upkeep per month is 10,000 naira. Where how many children do we have? Man? We have presently 25 children in the home. Male and female. Male and female. Then we have about 220 as our external intervention, still within Kuji Area Council in five localities. Their school fees per term is 12,000 Naira basic school fees and 3,000 Naira Islamia fee, totaling 15,000 Naira per term. We solicit the general public to donate generously towards their school fees payment and towards their upkeep so that together we can achieve our aim of making sure they live a life just like other children with their own parent. Where is their source of income from? The source of income presently is membership donation and the general public support. We have pure water factory, thinking in the near future we'll be able to generate some income from there to sustain the home. And presently the school is open to the community. The people who come from outside, they also pay for their school fees so that it can help us in paying for the teacher's salary. Thank you very much. Um.